Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Hi, my name is Dan and in this video we're going to look at where does Dreamweaver sit in the grand scheme of web design. Okay, so there's, there's three main positions. There's uh, this side, which is things like Muse or Webly, and they are totally WYSIWYG, uh, open the program, drag and drop, and hit export website. Very visual, okay, but not a lot of customization. If it's not built into the product, you can't do it, okay? Muse is amazing, and I love it, and I've built lots of sites on it, but it has, it gets to a, you get to your limit quite quickly, so no customization. Um, way over here, you've got full customization, okay? Full code, okay, where, it's for people who like to see in code, okay? Uh, I don't like this side of things. I can dabble in it, but this side of things is for if you prefer working with a sheet of kind of like text editor type stuff where you are kind of working, yeah, working in code. Now Dreamweaver kind of straddles a bit of both of them. It has a bit of the visual stuff, okay? Some of the WYSIWYG things where you can drag and add things from a menu, um, but it produces the code and you get to see the code and interact with the code. And that's where I said, I'm a visual person. I like, I like to work with Dreamweaver because yeah, it allows me best, best of both worlds. It allows me to um, do quite easy stuff and get a website quite quickly up, but it also allows me to go into the little details and hack away and change things and edit them. And that's, I guess, for me, the perk of Dreamweaver. Now, you need to be clear when you're starting with Dreamweaver, it's really not a design tool, okay? It's a production tool. So, like building a house, uh, it is somebody else has drawn, the architect's drawn the house and you're ready to go. Dreamweaver is where the builder turns up and starts making things. You can design as you go through Dreamweaver, but it's the, it's a clumsy way of doing it. The uh, best way to do it is prototype. Um, most people will prototype in something like uh, something like Photoshop. Okay, I've got a full course on how to design a website in Photoshop. So you do all your work here in Photoshop and, and once you get it signed off by the client, Okay, that's when you open up Dreamweaver and get ready to start making things. Now, Dreamweaver is great at some things and not great at other things. So if you're using Dreamweaver and you're building a site and it's no more than 100 or so pages, it's perfect, okay? But when you start getting into thousands of pages, that's when you're going to need something like a CMS rather than building your own site. Okay, CMS is slightly different as in it's a pre-made site that you install on your host and you customize it to fit what you want to do. Whereas what we're doing here in Dreamweaver is we're building our own custom site from the ground up. I guess the big thing as a web designer, and what you want to know is that you've got to make clear to your uh, client that when you are building a site in Dreamweaver, that amends come through you. You're all the web designer. If they need changes made and updates done, they're going to come through you. Whereas, say, if you install a CMS or a content management system, that's fine. Um, you don't get as much control over what you can and can't do in the website, but it allows the client often a back end that they can log into, sign up, and adjust some of the pages, Okay, the things that you allow them to adjust. Okay, so that's the big difference between using Dreamweaver to get started or installing something like WordPress or Drupal or Joomla, okay, to get started with a website. Hey there, remember this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link and below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi, da.